Shonen, seinen, and shoujo are three very well-known demographics of anime, but what if I told you that there is also another, more lesser-known demographic of anime? That is of course Jose, a very underrated kind of anime. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's good? This is Doran here. Today let's talk about, well, as you know, <laughs> Jose, the type of anime that is, well, some things, <laughs> the type of anime that a lot, not a lot of people know about. Why though? Well, the reason for that is, well, as we all know, Shonen is aimed at younger boys, who are the main audience of anime, but, as we all know, just after that, we also have Seinen, who, are, who is literally aimed at adult men. Why? because so many younger men, younger boys are enjoying anime, so it only makes sense that later on those boys will grow up and of course enjoy seinen, although ironically enough so many boys enjoy it because they just want to grow older as fast as they can, as many of us may have done so as kids. So, but regardless, then we also have shoujo. Shoujo is of course aimed at girls, although ironically it's enjoyed, enjoyed by boys, but it is aimed at girls. Why? Because, well, obviously to balance out, we also need to entertain younger girls, right? However, yeah, as one may expect, not many girls end up enjoying anime. So yeah, this also leads us to the next problem here. So Jose is the demographic that is aimed at older women. So as we all know, unlike boys who actually end up, generally speaking anyways, end up enjoying anime and when they grow up, that's why both Seinen and Shonen and Seinen end up having a stark amount of popularity. However, the same cannot be said about Shoujo and Jose because Shoujo is already not that popular of a demographic and then of course, of course Jose is even going to be lesser popular than that since we already see that Shonen is the most popular and then we have Seinen. So yeah, here's the problem now. So. Did you guys know that Jose anime, though they may be great, yes, I like, yes, they are great. I'll discuss why in a bit. But did you guys know that there are only 194 Jose anime titles listed on my anime list? To understand how low that amount is, there are literally 2,000 anime for shonen. Yes, 2,000 shonen anime, then 1,000 seinen anime, and then finally 497 shoujo anime. So can you see how big of a difference that is? since the other demographics all together literally, literally have 3,500 anime more than, of course, Jose. So that's quite something, quite really something that does raise an eyebrow. Or yeah, why would it not? Because, well, wow. So anyways, why should you watch Jose? Well, you should watch Jose because the plots actually end up being quite compelling in the sense that they actually take diverge from the patterns in Shane Seinen and Shonen because we already enjoy Shonen, but the problem with Shonen ends up being the fact that so many of the tropes are overused and then with Seinen, the same problem does occur, but it's a step because it is a step away from Shonen, we actually end up enjoying it because Seinen actually takes takes more which a mature talks about more mature themes in contrast to Shonen, and that's something we all love to see. And then we have Shoujo, which also diverges from that, but also Jap. Yeah, but also since there is no clear definition of what girls even enjoy at this point, Shoujo has a lot of variety into it. Although a lot of shoujo anime are romance based, but not all. But regardless, then we have Jose. Jose actually ends up not being, th not knowing, like, just like shoujo, not knowing what it is. Jose does not know what it is either. But regardless, here are three anime to watch, and I'll go over why you should watch them. So, at number one, we have, of course, Chia for you. Chiha for you follows Chihaya Ayase and her adventures. Now this anime is very similar to Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket being an anime that of course is very popular and is the highest rated anime on my anime list. And so is so is Chiha for you. Chiha for you is also very high, highly rated. However, it is not as big as Fruits Basket because Fruits Basket has gotten a lot more seasons and more exposure. So that's the point. And but she have for you is something that is even greater in quality quality because of how much personality the characters get. Because the th 
Since the focus ends up being less on the plot, the focus ends up being really really applicated onto the characters and we actually end up getting really compelling characters with a lot of development, not just development but complexity as well as well as a certain charm that we do not get to see often in other demographics of anime such as the fact that in Shonen we always have a loud and energetic MC and then in Seinen we have some, a more mature guy usually who has gone through a lot of stuff in life and then in Shoujo we just have a really daydreamy girl usually. So yeah, that's the thing, that in Jose, we, yeah, in Jose there's not, the main character isn't even necessarily an older woman, it can be literally anyone, which moves on to the next point. Of course, the next anime I would really suggest if you really enjoy Jose would be Osagi Drop. What is Osagi Drop about? It, it is about, a, it is about an old man who ends up adopting a little girl and ends up raising her. It is a really sad story because this girl was actually the illegitimate, illegitimate child of his family member and no one was willing to take her in. But our main 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 chat of a main character decides to step up and actually bring her in to his own family and he actually raises her. However, I would like to just give a little warning. Something happens in the manga so if you enjoy the anime, do not <laughs> go further because what happens in the manga is something that you do not want to find out. Just stick to the anime, yeah, yeah. It's, it's sweet and wholesome. Yeah, just the anime. Never go further. Bye bye. Yeah, anyways, let's move on to the final one. The final anime I would suggest if you really enjoy Jose is Genroku Shoujo. Uh, Rakugo. So, Rakugo is a, sh a really great series. Well, even though despite the fact it has a very hard name to remember, Rakugo is very popular, or well, was popular the year it came out, but it has degraded in popularity over time. It is hard to explain what the anime is about even, but the main character is not a woman again. It is two adult men again. And Rakugo is Rakugo it's even harder to explain what the plot is about, but since well there is a lot of complexity to it. So yeah, that's why Rakugo ends up being something that you really need to see. Oh, and plus it's really short as well, with it only having two seasons with of course 12 episodes each. So do check Rakugo out. So in this list, which, where should you start from out of all these? So I would suggest that you should start from, of course, Usagi Drop or Chiha for you, and then move on to Rakugo. Rakugo is, well, something that's in the more higher echelons of anime because of how great it is, but you need to have seen at least other anime to at least appreciate the value of the show. But yeah, there are some things you should have should enjoy if you want to get into Jose, which is, well, literally the most underrated demographic of anime. In the next video, I'll talk about Kodomoko, which is, well, the final and even more underrated, or well, not underrated, but a lesser known demographic of anime. Ironically enough, though, we actually end up know, know, we actually know a lot about this already. So yeah, do check my latest video out when it comes out. With that out the way, with that out the way guys, this has been Dorian, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye gamers, see ya.